It's time to fill you in on exactly what we are doing for our E3 2017 coverage for Nintendo. Starting on June 13th at 8 a.m. Pacific, 10 a.m. Central, and 11 p.m. Eastern, we will have our live pre-show right here on YouTube. Also over on our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash Nintendo Prime, and also on our Facebook page. The goal of this pre-show will be to discuss our expectations, our hopes, our dreams. We might even throw a few bets in the mix. And that show will be hosted by yours truly, Nathaniel Rumpeljantz and Eric Moore from the podcast. We might have a couple special guests. You'll have to tune in to find out. We will also have a post-show. So we will have live reactions to Nintendo's Spotlight once it is done. That post-show is only going to last a half hour. So once the show is done, the next 30 minutes after, you will see us reacting to that spotlight. Now, the reason that it's only 30 minutes is because we have to get right into the Treehouse coverage and right into all of the coverage for the various interviews and other live streams out there that are dealing with all of the other things Nintendo has going on. Now... You can catch all of the latest news, if that's all you want is the news, as fast as you can get it, at NintendoPrime.net. We will have posts going up for every major announcement, every major gameplay clip, every major interview. It'll be right there, conveniently, on our website. However, that doesn't do any good for you YouTube folks that prefer videos, right? So at the end of each day, we will have two separate videos going up. One will just be an E3 news recap. We will grab all of the most important stories from each day of E3. So that would be on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Each of those days, we will have a recap video of all the major news going up at the end of the day. In addition, we will have a reaction video, which will include yours truly and others to come in and voice our opinions on the news of that day. And if we can help it, we might even be able to get some reactions from people who played the games on the show floor. Afterwards, we will have a podcast recording that Thursday evening. And that podcast will be going live the following Saturday and Sunday. Now, that does mean we do not have a podcast going up next week. And I I think you can forgive us. It's E3 week. It didn't make sense to record a podcast this week to release during E3 when we have all this other news coming up. Even if we pick topics that aren't E3 specific, it would just feel out of place in the midst of all the coverage. Now, we are debating right now on adding all of the major trailers to our channel from the show. So the new Super Mario Odyssey trailer, the new Zelda DLC trailer, whatever pops up. We are debating on adding those to our channel, but we're going to leave that up to you guys. If you guys would like us to add those latest trailers to our channel, let us know down in the comments below. If you don't care, it's okay. I understand. Not everyone gives a hoot about the latest game trailers, but I've always really been into game trailers and... I like having them on the channel. But again, if you guys don't want that because there's going to be too much other content going on, that is totally fine. As I said, if you want all the latest coverage, be sure to check out NintendoPrime.net. Otherwise, stay right here on YouTube. That's our only current plans. Things might change. We might have quick takes. We might have more live shows. We might even have you know, a post-live show on Friday. That's undecided right now. But I wanted to let you guys know the direction we are taking our E3 coverage this year on YouTube and over at NintendoPrime.net. I look forward to seeing all of you guys in the comments and in the live chats chatting away and letting us know what you think about all the latest Nintendo announcements.